Hi, I'm JD, and today we're going to be doing some calculus. So, if you would, take some time, pause the video, see if you can try this on your own. Take the integral of 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 with respect to x. So, pause it, take your time, and see if you can do this on your own. All right. <laughs> integration, integrating, is harder compared to taking the derivative. Derivatives are very straightforward. When you're integrating, you have to do, oh, little tricks or manipulation. First, you want to see, you want to make observations. Okay, are they the same? Like the degree of the numerator denominator, are they the same? Okay, is this larger than this? Because if it was, then maybe you could do some uh, long division with polynomials. But since it's not, and notice you can't use the natural log, right? The natural log is, let me put this over here. If I have uh, dx over x, that would be natural log of x plus the constant of integration. You can't do that here because this, you know, the derivative of this is, you know, 2x plus 5, and you don't see 2x plus 5 in the numerator, so you can't do that. So what you have to do is a little manipulation, and what you have to do here is fractional or you know partial fractions. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to factor it. Remember factoring from all the way back over there. You can do trial and error. You could probably do this in your head. You have x and x and okay what times what when when multiplied will give me this, but when added will give me the five. Okay, I have one and six. When I add those together, seven, two, three, two and three. So you have that. Next, what you want to do is manipulation. You're going to have this as a denominator of one of the fractions. So x plus 2 for one of the fractions. You have no clue, but you want to make that some constant. This, right, you use this, and then you got to have this. And then some other constant. Now, what you do now is an old trick in algebra. You take this LCD, and you just psh, multiply it through. When you do that, you get 1 equals a. The x plus 2 cancels out, so that leaves you with x plus 3. Plus, same thing happens over here. The x plus 3's cancel out, so you're left with x plus 2. If you're kind of lost to what I just did, I took this, the LCD, and multiplied this whole equation right here by x plus 2, x plus 3. Here, it cancels out. Here, just the x plus 2 cancels out. And here, x plus 3 cancels out. Now with this, it's very easy. Because basically, you can plug in any number you want for x. Any number you want. So what I would do is make this 0, right? Or make this one 0. And it's really helpful since they're different. Here, I can plug in x equals negative 3. That will cancel this out. So I'm left with 1 equals b, right, there's no a because this is just 0, negative 3 plus 2 
gives me a negative 1. I get b all by itself, b all by itself, b equals negative 1. Now I want to do the same thing with a. So I don't want the a to cancel out. I want this guy to cancel out. So I'm going to plug in a negative 2. When I plug in a negative 2, this cancels out. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So a equals 1. So I found it. a equals 1 and b equals negative 1. Now, you're going to have paper, so you're going to have plenty of room. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase it. But we know what our a and b are. Our a is positive 1, and our b is negative 1. And so let me erase some of this work. You can always pause it and then go back. Negative one. I'm taking the integral of this with respect to x. Now, when you take the integral of the sum, you take the integral of this, and you take the integral of this. The integral of this is this, right? The derivative of x plus 2 is 1. So, or 1 with, you know, 1 dx. But that's in the numerator. So that's very straightforward. That's ln absolute value of x plus 2. And then since this is a constant, I can move it up front. It's so negative 1. And then natural log x plus 3. And then since we're integrating and we're doing an indefinite integral, so you always need the, the constant of integration. So just simply plus c. And this right here. That's it. That's your final answer.